Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to solve a simple, simply supported beam. And this is a simply supported beam over here. SSB. And here, uh, uh, it, uh, those two edges are pinned. Uh, UD a load of 40 kN per meter is applied and the span is 7 meters. So we'll find out the reaction. First, we'll find out the manually. So manually what you get, so this total load is 40 kN per meter. So we'll convert it into point load. So it will be acting at the center. So equivalent is 40 into 7. That is the total distance. You will get it as 280 kN. Okay, so we'll just get it as 280 kN. So here 280 kN will be acting. So due to the vertical forces that is RE plus RB is equal to two eighty, but it is symmetric. So RA will be equal to RB, which is equal to sorry, RA will be equal to RB. So what happens to this equation? We'll get so 2 times RA or RB both are the same because RA is equal to RB is equal to 280. So what we will get RA? So RA will be equal to RB. RB so RA is equal to RB which is equal to 140. 140 kN. Okay. And now we will find the bending moment. So when we find out the bending moment, uh, so here we, we will just erase this and so when we find out the bending moment, we will see like we will get the like this and for a shear force since here and here, we will get like this, here also 140. This is 140 and this one is also 140. So this is a shear first and for bending moment we will get like this and this is positive. So what happens is so bending moment if there is a UDL and if there are two edge conditions are given like this. So the bending moment is given by the formula W W into L square by 8. So according to this formula, what we will get? So W is 280, right? So 280 into L square. L is what? 7 meters. So 7 square by 8. So if you calculate it, you will get it as 245. 245 kilonewton meter. Now we will verify this answer okay, with the E tabs. So we will just go to the E tab and we will create a new model and anyhow we are not going to design the steel or concrete so it does not affect uh, whichever the code you take. But I am going to use the units as metric USI units. So I do not need the grids and let the story head be anything but I am going to choose it as blank over here. And here I am not going to define any suction database or the material. Since we are going to do only the analysis, the suctions uh, database or the materials uh, properties doesn't affect. Since uh, here we are not going to do the deflection because the, the deflection depends upon the uh, material property. So now I will go to the draw and I will draw beams and columns. So I will draw from this origin, this is the origin and here in the property it may be anything, so we can choose anything because we are not going to do the design as I said before. So I will just draw it at a distance of 7 meter. Okay, And it is not necessary that you have to draw it at the origin itself. Suppose say we will get the same result if you draw it at the other end also, I will just uh, show the results. Suppose I want to draw anywhere over here. I will just keep it as distance of 7 meters. Yeah. 
and I'll just close this plan view and I'm going to select these joints. So I, I will assign the joints now and then we'll click on OK. And now here in the E tabs especially, the load cases will go to define and in the load patterns. So here we are having the dead load and live load. E tabs will automatically consider the dead load. So according to the material so i'm going to delete the line load and i'm not going to use the self weight that is i'm not going to use the self weight so i'll just modify it the self weight if it is one what it what the etap software will do is in addition to whatever the load you have applied the mid self weight of the material or the member is considered as the dead load and if your chosen it as zero you can overwrite that one that means the self weight will not be considered and usually this is the advantage but here we are going to apply the dead load of UDL so I don't need the member load so I'm going to change that and now I'll select these two beams and I'll assign the loads I'll go to frame loads distributed loads and here it will be dead and I'm going to assign 40 kN per meter and now you can see the 40 kN per meter is assigned. And now we'll run the analysis. It is asking to save. Save. To get the both the beams the same result, it is, does not depend upon the point where you are placing. Yeah, and you can see the member has been deformed. So I'll just go and see the shear force diagram over here. Just click on display frame or link force or just press F8. And I'm going to choose it as dead because I've removed everything. Or if you have removed the dead and kept only the line, choose the here dead option will not be there. So live load will be there. So just choose the moment. And I'm going to show the values also. And here you can see it is 245 and when you click on the beam it shows and here which I am showing the maximum you can scroll for the values you can enter the distance suppose I want to know it for at a distance of 1 meter how much it is so here at the distance of 1 meter I am going the shear force as minus 100 and, bend, and the bending moment of 120 kN per meter and the deflection as 5.639 mm and if you want you can just change the distance manually by scrolling over here or just show the maximum and here you can see the maximum is 140 kilonewton and here also 140 kilonewton and the pending moment is maximum at the mid span you can see at the 245 kilonewton per meter at the distance of 3.5 total span is 7 right at the midpoint it is maximum and here you can see that we have got the exactly the same answer so here and now we can see the shear force here also and then click ok and now yeah you can see you can see the values also see and here also for this beam also it shows the same value you can just right click it yeah and now you can see the shear force is same and the bending moment is also same and the deflection is also same and you can scroll for the different values and you can manually enter the distance and we'll go and see the shear force here again and yeah you can just see it is 245 again the same so here also it is same so you can see the shear force and bending moment diagram the e tabs gives absolutely the right result and exactly the same value as the manually what the answer should be there so we have verified that and the analysis results also does not depend upon the origin uh, that is the place where you are modeling the beam and thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below